So we're going to start with fidgets of the week. I could not get seven. I couldn't get seven today or this week. Sorry, that's the way it is. But it is telling. What we got here is, first off, I've got the Verk. I got the Verk from, from Magnus. Magnus and... 3D, Cladis 3D Studios, all right? So this is kind of the slider that I was grabbing a lot this week. It's gotta be one of the most ergonomic sliders I have ever laid hands on. And it's because of this. If you've never had one of these Verks, they're easier to get than, you know, a wrapped, for example. And I think I have to have one in my collection all the time just because of the way this damn thing feels. It feels so fucking good on your thumb. It's like it's hugging it. It's hugging your goddamn thumb. It's right in there. What Anthony Cladis has done and then worked with Magnus, it's just genius. Like this, this H-shaped, X-H sort of shape sort of thing. I don't know. I don't understand why no one did this before. And then all the holes, some people are going to say, yeah, it's too. it gets really dirty. I just spray it out with compressed air. Some people got gunky, gunky thumbs and they got to they gotta like really wash that stuff out. I know someone that's got a sonic jewelry cleaner and he puts alcohol in it and does it that way. Sure. Great. So some people don't want that. I need one of these and I would even I would consider probably I might sell this in the future or trade it for a Zerk one plus cash because uh, I would definitely want to try the Zerk. Never tried a Zerk before in Magnus, but this is the, this is the slider. This is my favorite Magnus slider. And it's not even designed by him. It's like just, just half him. It's like, it's, it's great. I don't know. This thing's crazy. First time I saw it, I went, I'm going to need that. And I was right. Got it. And I was right. So that's been my slider all week. Uh, Pam, it's not sharp. It's not sharp. It's soft and it feels cool. It feels so cool. Like, uh, right. That's what I forgot to say. It's, it, it stays in my collection because Okay, here's the thing. If this wasn't a slider and this was just fused together, I I would consider also buying this as a worry stone just to sit there and just 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 give it a good rub, you know? Just give it a good little rub. It it's it's that good. Sometimes I'm not even sliding it and I'm just holding it and just, you know, feeling it. Something some sensual going on there, I tell you. So, yeah, only got five out this week, uh, but there is a clear winner. I'll let you just thingy see if you can guess which one it is, but there is an absolute clear sort of winner for what uh, what was uh, working there. Next up, yeah, so the Dune. I have been neglecting the Dune. This is a tungsten Dune, and it's got the uh, tungsten sage grips on it. I struggled for a long time with the Dune grips because they weren't really my thing, the ones that come with it. They'd probably be more of my thing now that I've like learned how to just be better at spinners and stuff like that. But then they just weren't doing it for me. But these ones, oh my Lord, you still have to shim it. I do have a millimeter shim in there because like I said, it's a hard one to get buttons for. It's got all these ridges. You have to fit a button in there. You have to have it not touch. So if I didn't have the shimmed, it would just be rubbing all over the place. But whoo, holy Lord, it is such a flinger. It is like, God, I don't know. It, it just perches on your finger and I absolutely fucking love it so into it and i just i didn't touch it for a while i'll do that i'll do that i won't touch a spinner for a long time even though i know i love it because i want to just give it some time and i don't know is it like it's like when you get a song that you love you get this new song that you love and you're just playing it over and over and over again and i've done it before where i just ruin the fucking song i ruin it for myself and then i go oh my god i really liked that song now i can't fucking stand it so i kind of maybe ruined too many songs in my past and i kind of that's like seeping into fidget life and i go oh god i really like this thing maybe i should just put it away for a little bit and see how i feel about it later Next one, another one. Great example of one that I can't get enough of and I had to put it away. So this is the W. This is by Modus Works. And this is, this, this, this is, I've talked about this before. This thing is, oh God, I, 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 if I was James Bond, this would be my spinner. 
uh, I think it's classy as fuck. Uh, it's so cute how it literally says W. Just W right there. Because, I mean, Jonas, he's from Alabama, right? So he's got a bit of an accent. So uh, kind of say W. 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 It's made a... It's made a W, made a tungsten. Wolfram, if you don't know what W actually stands for with the whole tungsten thing, it's Wolfram. Wolfram. There's actually some debate about whether or not it should be called Wolfram or tungsten. But as far as the periodic table goes, tungsten is represented by W, so that's why we abbreviate it with W. Anyway, that's the W, and it ha it is a thinema thing. It's a thinema thing V2 in tungsten. It rips and flies so fucking hard and good that it is, um, oh, it's amazing. Uh, it has brass Thinema Thing V2 grips on it. Ones that I got off of a Tri Thinema Thing V2 that is with a new home now. Part of the deal was I got to keep the grips because I can't live without them on this thing. Uh, it's perfect. So another thing that that kind of brought up is I figured something out about size and length with spinners. Let's just look at chat here for a sec. I really want to try a spinner because I've never held or owned one. You should try one. And I would definitely try going to Cap first, maybe, you know, because they uh, tend to always have things in stock, Kinetics Asia Pacific. And they have some good designs. They have some simple stuff. It's a great place to start because if you have the money to drop like about 100 USD or something like that on a metal spinner, uh, it could change your life. They are very, very good food for the soul, food for the relaxation, the thought. Uh, it is it is beautiful. Uh, I don't know where they were all my life, and here we are. And I can't, can't live without a good good spinner now. So, Pam L, 2R Designs has some new spinners and buttons on their site. That is true. I did hear about that from someone else. Someone else was looking into that, uh, was telling me, hey, look at this. And they got some of that stuff up. So that is true. 2R Designs as well. And then otherwise, just get on like the Marketplace Spin Space. Spin Space uh, has a, a Marketplace group uh, corresponding to their actual group group called Spin Space on Facebook. And if you just got on the marketplace, just look around for something made out of stainless steel. Stainless steel is a great place to start and just see if you like something. People are always asking me, what is a spinner I should get to be my first spinner? I want my spinner. What's the best one that I could get? And I go, I don't know, man. You need to, that's the best thing I can say is start with stainless steel. Look around. You got to find something that makes you go, Ooh, what's that? I like that. I like the look of that, right? It's fidgets are very there's like a bonding thing going on there or something. So you need to kind of look. You need to look and see what tickles your brain, tickles your fancy in that way. So what I was talking about, what I want to talk about is that I figured something out with length, with length with spinners. It's about 50 mil. So 50 mil length is sort of where things kind of become this like perfect, flickable, flippable sort of thing. Like this one has it, uh, it's 50 mil. It's 50-ish mil. I think this one's 48. And I was thinking about it for the longest time and I was going, why do like shorter spinners don't feel as easy to just rip? Just rip, rip, rip. And then I remembered. I remembered, I remembered a video that Jonas sent me way back in the day when I got my very first spinner, this guy. And if you've watched that video of me unboxing it, I can't make this thing spin for the life of me. I'm like going like this and I'm like, oh fuck, how did people, how did they do it? They went like this and I'm like, oh. And I'm like taking my other finger and like going like that just to get it going and stuff. It's so embarrassing. You know what? Actually, don't watch that video. Please don't. But after Jonas saw it, he was like, oh, that's cute. Look at Fidget Nerd. He has no idea. He's only done sliders. He can't make anything spin. So he sent me this little video. And then after I remembered about that video, it all made sense. And I actually went and I dug up that video. Check it out. Right before he sent that, he said, it's a snap. It's like a snap. You know, 
just snap. And it all kind of made sense after that. Your finger is used to being out at about that length on your thumb when you do a snap with your fingers. So it's used to being out about that much. And when you hold a spinner like this, it's kind of the same motor skill. So we're so used to it that once I started thinking about that, I realized, ah, there's something to do with that length. There's something to do with it and it works so well. And then I just thought of that video and I wanted to show you guys because I thought that was kind of neat and it corresponded with that. God, it's so fucking hot here. It's like I live in Canada and I tell you, if anyone, you know, in the US thinks that Canada doesn't get hot and we all live in igloos, oh God, you're fucking wrong. So this is the tungsten big nest. We talked about the small nest in a previous stream. And that was one that I moved on because the big nest is the winner for me. So this has zirconium big po grips on there. And I am fucking in love with the big po grips. I had ordered, uh, I ordered a bronze big po. And then during that pre-order, Samuel made, gave us the option to order additional grips and additional uh, materials. I think that is awesome. I think that more makers need to do that and just kind of admit to themselves that like people like to button swap. So I thought, oh, I'm going to get this gold and black thing going on with my Poe. And it turned out that I ended up putting them on my big Poe because they're the same size grip, 22 mil um, in diameter. And oh God, it just hits so much better. It hits so good. I love it. And it's like, <sighs> this thing is probably as close as I'll ever get to like a billium which is, I don't know if you ever know that one. It's really old. Uh, and it's it's basically, it's basically like these, this, it's too big. It's like you put weights on the outside of this body, put your button in the middle, and you can change the weights. They're just circular weights, and you can change them. And it's just the idea, it's kind of like that circus ride, you know, where they strap you into like two separate ends. You know, and there's like two people on each side and they just fling you around and like train you for like astronaut training or something like, you know, 5G. Oh, it's kind of like that. I kind of think of that. And there's just something about having two pods on either end of a stick and flinging them around. It just feels so good. And it's the ultimate spinner for doing this because you can just, oh, I can't see it's too fast that way. It's like you're, you're rocking it between and let it hit boom, boom, boom like that. Oh, that is another, it's like this other little side sort of fidgety thing that you can't do with every, with every spinner. So you'll get going and you can like go fast like this. Oh, it just hits right. And you can flick it that way and then rip it. And mm, so good. The winner this week by far, by far and wide, the one that I was playing with the most was the Chelsea, was the stainless steel Chelsea. No tungsten here. Just the good old stainless steel Chelsea. Okay. I won this one. I've hardly ever won any sus in my life, a sign up sale lottery, but I won this one and I I'm very happy I did. I have decided I really, really love this thing. And it was because I switched the grips. These are Altum grips, and they are from L I C E D C. And they are sort of like his thicker version for edamame grips. And it, they, they just hit so well on this. And it got me realizing that the regular Chelsea grips are too tall. They're too tall for the Chelsea. And you can't, you got to get lower down to be able to get that snap, that snap flick, that snap pull. And then it just flies. So this is the one that I have used the most all week. Just keep grabbing it. The other ones... You know, grab them here and there. But this one was like with me going to work every day as well. This one made it out in the car. Yeah, just plain old stainless steel and Altum. Nothing too, too fancy about this one. And I ended up liking the S. This is the SF. This is the Chelsea SF. And I ended up liking this one much more than the M. And I decided to pass on the M to someone else. So I think it's on its way to Germany right now, which I fucking love. It's really hard to get these things out across seas. So I like that it's going to Germany. All right. So that is the fidgets of the week. Uh, yeah, we'll do moss them 
Yeah, there's two ways to do it. We'll do it because we have two. We have more than three. So we'll go top row of Dumas is. Uh, I, I, I love it so much. If I ever lost it, I would have to find one again immediately. Middle row is if I lost it, I would get one if it like came to me in some way or I'd keep an eye out for the secondary, but I wouldn't go and get one right away. And then if I lost it on the bottom row, I, I wouldn't try to find one again. It's just here. I like it. It's great. I'm going to always do moss like the fidgets of the week as if these are the only fidgets I own and not try to compare it to the other ones that I have. Okay. So if I, uh, so the top row, these ones immediately go in there. Uh, it's going to be hard. I think I would immediately need that again. And then we'll do that. That's actually how I would do it if I only owned these pieces. So once again, top row. If I lost it, I would immediately need to try to find it again and buy it again. Middle row, if I lost it, I wouldn't buy it right away again, but if it came into my lap, if I saw it on the secondary or something like that, ah, man, I'd scoop it up again. Third row, if I lost it, I probably wouldn't try to find it again. So let's put those away.